New tonight, a man accused of killing his ex-girlfriend with an axe is now facing more charges involving the victim. Today, Ewan DeWitt was served with a new arrest warrant for harassment and a violation of a protective order. It stems from a complaint that Julie Minogue made to Milford police before her murder when DeWitt allegedly sent her 220 text messages. According to the warrant, which News 12 obtained, some of the text messages from you and DeWitt to the victim were derogatory in nature. It says some of the text messages from the victim to you and DeWitt indicated that the victim did not want you and DeWitt to text message her and to leave her alone forever. Police initially submitted an arrest warrant for DeWitt to the court last month, but it was returned to police with a request for more information. For unknown reasons, it was not resubmitted before Minogue's murder December 6th. And this morning, DeWitt made his first in-person court appearance in the murder case. He kept his head down as he stood next to his public defender. He'll be back in court on all the charges February 3rd. A vigil in Minogue's memory on Sunday drew hundreds of people, including the lieutenant governor. Clearly, we need to do more, and we need to get the community involved in trying to identify situations that are dangerous so that we can keep people safe. According to the Connecticut Coalition Against Domestic Violence, Minogue's death is the 11th from intimate partner violence in the state this year. Last year, there were 16.